my name is Dan Hadley. I'm from Adelaide, South Australia. I'm graduating with an MBA from the London School of Business and Finance, majoring in Management Consulting. I chose the London School of Business and Finance because of two reasons. One, a competitive specialisation in management consulting that was hard to find with other universities. And two, the flexibility and the quality of study. All of the reviews and my research that I took a long time to do with a number of universities led me to it being a really strong choice. I'd probably say the dissertation. Uh, I had a really good supervisor, uh, Dr. Peter Jansen, and we worked on some really good research that has been used with my industry body locally. So it wasn't just a pure academic exercise, we were actually able to find information that we could use in the industry and share with local management consulting companies in Australia. I'm a management consultant and an economist for a private firm. Uh, we specialise in areas of strategy, risk, uh, cultural change, organisational change and governance. Going through this specialisation allowed me to formalise the thinking that my experience has given me, to formalise everything that we do from an academic point of view and enhance those skills so that I can contribute more to my clients. No, I'd had some experience before with online as well as in-person on-campus study with other universities. Uh, so I was familiar with it, but I really like it. Uh, it works for me as a professional working a full-time schedule, which is more than 40 hours a week. Um, the flexibility of online study allows me to work around my clients and my other commitments. Most of my study would be done from home, uh, but sometimes from the office. A lot of the time during the study, I was working two large contracts. So I'd have to do study late at night or on weekends, uh, often in large batches when I could. And it allowed me to get ahead if I needed to, to provide me a buffer for my study so I don't fall behind. It was extensive. It was good quality support. Uh, again, I give a lot of thanks to my supervisor who gave me rapid responses when I needed them, able to give me practical answers. It wasn't just an academic exercise. The information and support I received was practical and from real world scenarios from professionals in the field. Um, that's something I can relate to and that's something I needed to get the most out of this course. Uh, well, that's the question on the uh, all of my friends' lips at the moment. Our firm is going through a strong period of expansion. Uh, Australia and indeed my state is going through a strong period of expansion. We have a lot of defence contracts. We have the Australian Space Agency that's now launched in Adelaide, South Australia. So the demand for management consulting continues to grow um, year on year. So there's a lot of opportunities at the moment in Australia and internationally. And as a firm and individually, uh, we're looking to approach those uh, quite aggressively. I think success is what you want to make of it. And if we talk about the success of uh, completing an MBA, uh, my personal mentor gave me some very strong advice. And he said, you don't want to complete an MBA, you want to be an MBA. You want to be a master of business administration. And I think that mentality of success, understanding real success as opposed to something on paper is far more important. Very exciting. It's uh, something that I think a lot of students in the room and myself have been waiting for for some time. Uh, it represents a lot of hard work, sweat, blood, tears, excitement, commitment, uh, and it's nice to finally be here at the finish line to celebrate it formally. Absolutely. I think if you're going to do a master's degree, again, take that line that my personal mentor gave me because there's no point in completing an MBA. The goal there is to be a master of business administration. And that's what the industry needs. That's what our countries need right now.